All right, Jesse, what's going on today, bro? Not much, Sam. What's up with you? My name is Jesse Cotton. I'm a three-time world championship competitor, two-time YCS champion, UDS champion, with over 20 premier event top cut finishes. I think over 50 regional tops at this point. All right, Jesse, today I have a challenge for you today. Are, okay. you, are you willing to accept? Uh, before I hear it, uh, sure. I know that you're known for a lot of crazy combo decks. Sure, yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. You know, you played, uh, what is it? Thunder, Dragons, blah, 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 that deck? Uh, I have this challenge for you today. Here, take this. What is this? You know what that is? It's the God Card Boss Monster, right? Yes, it's the Creator of Light. It's not available in TCG, it's only it's available. Not. And the Japanese one's also very expensive. Yes, and today, I want to challenge you. Can you summon Halakti? Easy. But my challenge to you is, can you summon it with one card? Probably figure it out, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, so, so it's possible. Uh, That's your number one challenge, to summon Halakti with one Yu-Gi-Oh card, mm -hmm. okay? And another restriction, you cannot use banned cards. Well, don't worry, that was never happening anyway. Oh shoot, so you're telling me that you can summon Halaki with one card and not using any banned cards? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, let's get started, let's do it. All right, so Jesse, since this is not available in the TCG, I got you some proxies from Oracle Shop. Let me know what you think. This is pretty cool. Damn. Decent quality, yeah. Wow. Well, that's pretty good, yeah. Pretty good, eh? Okay, so for those of you who do not know what Halakti does, can you read its card's effect? Sure, so this card cannot be no summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by attributing three monsters whose original names are Albus the Tormentor, Wind Dragon and Raw, and Cypher the Sky Dragon. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. The special summon of this card cannot be negated. Apply the special summon to this card wins the duel. That's crazy. Hmm. Okay, so I can't use Phantom of Chaos. That was something I was considering. Phantom of Chaos? Cool. That would have been cool, but I cannot use that. Ooh, Esco Talker. Full art. Looks legit. Secret Red Dragoon. Can I see the Dragoon? Show me that. It looks pretty cool, man. Wait, it's not secret. It's like... The name is secret, but the picture's not interesting. Really Dark cool. Lords. Pretty cool proxies. Metamorphosis? Secret super, like, fusions almost. Prosperity proxies. Looks super duper cool, guys. If you guys want to get these proxies to use for your decks for fun, Oracle Shop, guys. Link in down below. That's so cool. Tactics. It's yeah, pretty good quality. Yeah, pretty good quality. Wow. Lightning Storm Full Art. So, uh, none of these here helped me summon Halakti, so I'll sleeve up this and we'll get to him in a bit. Oh, jeez. I need to think of good starter cards. So, Scrap Recycler, Tour Guide is really good. I think these are my best contenders for starting off the combo. I need to figure out how I plan on ending the game if there's any card that really helps. Or if I just need to go for a strict infinite resource generation strategy. And one of those strategies, I, I can access any card in my deck and I can string together a several card combo. Like, what card is going to be an additional summon? Because I can't special summon. Raw. Looks like there's no good monsters. I mean, give me an extra summon. Considering Nightmare Goblin is banned. So I need to get to spell cards. Unfortunately, spells aren't really that accessible. Unless you draw or mill your entire deck. So let's get the best exam my card on one of the strongest cards in the game. And thanks to this stupid link, for some reason, it is um, searchable. So now, how do I get to the Six Samurai link? I need two warriors, including Six Samurai, so Isolde gets there. Isolde puts it on the field. And once I get to this point, I have to get enough counters on so I can get to the red and blue combo. So Six Samurai, uh, so this is always going to be in there, and then red, blue. Ooh. It's time. To recap, Sam gave me the challenge to summon Halakti with one card, and the one card I've chosen to start off in Chain of Events, good friend Tour Guide. So Jesse, she's all you need? Should be all I need. Yeah. All you need, Tour Guide and then you can summon Halakti. Yes. The creator of light. Yep. Three god cards, tribute all the god cards, boom, win yep. the game. And I'm pretty proud of it. It's a very like weird combo, so I'm happy with how it goes. Alright Jesse, I can't wait to see this. Let's begin. Sure, so singular tour guide. We'll start off and we will get our graph. So when tour guide is normal summon, you get a special summon a level, level three fiend, it's effects are negated. But not this graveyard effect, so graph's graveyard effect will still go off. So you're gonna link these two to the graveyard. And we summon our Cherubini on the Burning Best Friend. So the graph's effect activates, special summon any burning best from the deck. 
I'm gonna send to the graveyard. Okay. So we can get Seer. And this lets me send any level 3 from next to the grave to increase its attack, I think, by its level, but it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to send Phantom Knight Torn Scale. Torn Scale. So it's kind of like a Phantom Knight combo. To start off. Uh, yeah, it's like a weird Phantom Knight, Burning Abyss, Six Samurai, Zombie Mix Mash. You'll see. Amazing. Yeah, so whenever I use a Phantom Knight effect to banish itself from the grave, he comes back. So I'll be getting there soon. And then this is a Link 3 with only darts, so you can get to your Rusty Varnish. Amazing. And when Seer is sent to the grave, you bring back a Burning Abyss. Obviously, this would die, so you bring back the Cherubini. And I think it matters the zone, I don't remember exactly, but here should be good. It's be good Link Fodder later. And then we can use the Rusty's effect. So this involves us sending boots first, and we get a set one. So I'm going to set the Shade Brigandine. This is a free extender for us, which I can activate. I believe we can go here. Now I can banish the boots, or to add the any Phantom Knight Spiral Trap, I add Fog Blade, and because I banish, the Torn Scale comes out. The Torn Scale also says I can discard a card, so I can discard the Fog Blade. To any Phantom Knight from the deck to the grave. So I'm going to send Cloak, which says I can banish it from the grave, to add a Phantom Knight monster. So... Boots. The Boots. The boots also says, while well, I control all the Phantom Knight, which is someone that's off in the hand. So all these effects are hard ones per turn, so I can't keep doing that, but yeah. Right. And then this gets banished afterwards. Right. So now I get banished because I use it for the summon. This goes to grave, and I can summon... Isolt? Isolt. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I add a warrior. The warrior doesn't matter. I think I have to use it for discards at some point. So I add one of the dead six samurais that I don't actually end up using. So it's still kind of like a, a deck dinner, I guess? Like you just deck thing by one card? No, the send, you are going to be summoning a warrior from the deck, and that warrior is going to be very important. So, so you can send th four equipped spells, and only one of these actually matter. These are just the best cards, but Sword of Sparkles is important for the combo because it says you contribute a monster to put itself back on top of the deck. So this helps you for clearing up your field, because right now this is really annoying that it, that it locks up your, your top card, and you can't link with this. So you want a way to get this off the field, and this is really good, and you can keep using it later as, as well, uh, when you put it back in the grave. So I send four, and I summon a six samurai, and I will be summoning Kizaru. So Kizaru says when it's summoned, I can add a six samurai from my deck to my hand, with a different attribute than the monsters currently on my field. So I can't add dark, or light, or earth. It doesn't matter, I'm trying to set up a blue-red combo. If you know what that is for six samurai, it's an infinite loop combo that generates us infinite cards using Mizuho and Shine Eye. So I add Mizuho, then add Mizuho first because we're going to summon this a second time to search Shine Eye, but at that point we'll have a fire on the field. Um, so that's not... Wait, because is not a hard one to turn? It is not. We get Gurus, we detach the two, and we revive Kizaru again. Uh, I think it can go anywhere. But I'll put it there in case. And this lets us add a, another six samurai. So we can get... Shine Eye, because there's a fire here. Great. So this should set us up pretty well. Now, I need to get this off the field, so I can put the Shogun up top. The Shogun up top is important, because we can start summoning to its zone. I'll, 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 I'll tell you why when I summon it. But yeah, so Source Particles goes to the top of my deck by attributing a monster. I attribute the Rusty. And then I, I can use a Warrior plus... Six, six samurai. samurai. To summon the Shogun. And I can discard a card. So I could have added back the, uh, what's it called? Phoenix Blade, but not needed. Uh, to discard Kageki. And I gotta add a Gateway of the Six back to my hand. Gateway is really broken. So Gateway is probably the, one of the strongest cards in the game, by its, like, in terms of what it does. Um, the rest of the Samurai cards aren't good enough for this to be, like, meta defining, but as a card itself, this card is absolutely unfair. Uh, none of its effects once return, and it says whenever Six Samurai is summoned, it gets two counters. Um, and then it also says you can remove two, four, six counters to get a, uh, get a specific effect. What we want to use them as four. Move four counters when you're on the field, so it can be off this as well. Add six samurai from deck or a bigger to our hand. So this is uh, infinite generate resource generation. And this also says when six samurai is summoned to one of its zones, it gains one counter. So uh, you will be setting up counters that way. So now we don't have a way to summon these. That's what we have to work on. To do that, we're going to do is we're going to banish the fog blade we sent earlier to revive a phantom knight. We're gonna revive this boots. Uh, this gets it, the monster summon gets banished afterwards, so when we link, it's gonna get banished. Link we're gonna three. link three for Saryuja. So we're not gonna use the we don't have four cards, so it's not gonna draw four. But it's three effects says we can special summon a monster from our hand once returned. That's ridiculous. So this is a, uh, again, it's not once returned. So we're gonna be using this multiple times. Um, I think just twice, but still multiple times. Uh, so we can special summon here. Yep. And we can go special summon the Mizuho here to the zone, so this is going to get one counter. And Gabe will get two counters. And this will get two. And now these both say when you control the other one, you can special summon from the hand for free. So it's like you can control the Mizuho, and summon the Shine Eye. 
this goes up to four, and this goes up to two. Now I can use the Gateways effect to go down to two, move two here, and add any six samurai from Deathlord Graveyard to my hand. So I'm going to add... A He's on. No. No, not yet. Okay. Add the other blue and red, right? I think it's the blues that when you need two of them, red to the one. It's been a while since I've done this the, the specific gateway combo. I remember that it's an infinite loop. I just have to quickly remind myself how, how it's done. Um, Jesse, what I'm curious about is how does this six samurai combo get you to the gods? The combo, I don't understand. Which, this is the easy part because this infinite combo has been done for, I think, literally 10 years at this point. Right. When these cards came out, it's been almost exactly 10 years. But uh, figuring out how to get to this point with one card and then how to convert this into the god cards uh, without, an, without already using a normal summon was the hard part. So yeah, um, so you can summon it, and because it's not in this zone, it does, this doesn't go up. Oh, sorry, this this only had one counter because this was not summoned to a zone of points. So this I have to remove one from here. So I summon here, and this gets two counters, so it's the three. And now you contribute one to destroy a card in the field. Contribute the shiny to destroy Mizuho, uh, and then shiny has been distributed. You can add back a six hand line. So you add back to Mizuho. Because you control the blue. You can summon that out again. So this goes to five now. This goes to one. And then you can go to three. Remove it. Oh, sorry, no. Two. Three and one. Add back the Shine Eye. Summon the Shine Eye. So this goes to four. And then tribute to pop. Add it back. Summon. This goes to six. This goes to one. Wow. And remove and this goes to three. So you'll, you'll notice that every single time I do that iteration, I gain one counter on the gateway. So in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, you actually can do combos infinite times without actually physically doing it. You can say this combo is infinite. I will do this iteration however many times you want. So say I can do it 10,000 times. This will get to 10,000 counters after doing this loop 10,000 times. So this 10,000 counters we can use however, however many we want. I want to thin the deck out now so that I can get six samurais out of my deck. Oh, so guys, just a clarification, Jesse's going to be able to do this combo an infinite amount of times to gain infinite counters on Gateway. So now at this point, Jesse, let's say has 10,000 counters because he did it 10,000 times. He's going to be able to thin out his deck by searching six samurai monsters from the deck to the hand. So why is this step important, Jesse? So thinning it out is important because it means you have less cards in your deck. So when you have draw or mill effects from now on, you're more guaranteed to have a specific piece you need for the rest of your combo. Wow. Um, and this is gar a guaranteed combo, so we don't have to get lucky, even though we do, will do some milling. Um, but yeah, so the ones that are important, though, is you need one more Mizuho, and you need the Kizans, and you need a Grandmaster. So these you will need for your combo, so you cannot search them with Ice Hold either. But the rest are just filler. They can be any six Samurai monsters. Um, like the Kageki you also saw earlier was the same thing. Are you going to be adding these Kizan and Grandmasters back to, from your Graveyard to hand? You will be able to, yes. Okay. So in Yu-Gi-Oh, you're actually allowed to do that, Jesse. Like, you can say I can do this combo infinite times, and I can get infinite counters. Yes. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. That's uh, pretty From cool. my understanding, you can. Like, uh, this, the, the ruling was applied, I think, years ago, so I may have changed, but I want to say you can. So yeah, here I need to clear up the top zone again for another important piece. So this is your hand, and this is your hand as well. Yeah, this is my hand. So I'm, I need to summon a unicorn, and discard a card, to shuffle a card back, so I just want to hand I don't need. I'm going to put itself back in the deck. Oh, so, so I'm literally just clearing fields. Right? That's so smart. Okay, that's genius. I'm gonna do this one more time. Tribute, pop, add itself back. So, and then I'll add it back with gateway. So I need the field clear. So I'm special summon Grandmaster Kizan. I'm gonna link these two into a card that I think is really underrated and has to be good one day. Puzzle Mino, the drop into leader. This card is actually really, really cool. So I'm gonna read it out loud. It is a link two that requires a monster with two different levels. If a monster is special summoned, to a face-up zone, this card points to you. While you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can declare a level from 1 to 8, and that monster becomes the level you declared until the end of the turn. Also, you can target two monsters with the same level, one from each field, and destroy them. You can lose each effect once per turn. So low modulation is very good, it's somewhat generic, and, and like a real deck, uh, it also can be used as removal, so it's a very cool card um, that I like a lot, and I think can definitely be used one day. So I'm going to gateway add back these now, because these are infinite summons. And I'm going to summon the Grandmaster and make it a 4 uh, with Puzzle Amino. So now I have level 4. And this fixes an issue. Six hand my hand is getting an extra level 4 monster. So now you have 4 level 4s. And if you know what 4 level 4s equals, or you probably watched a lot of FTK decks. That requires 3 level 4s. <gasps> make the Math Mech dude. I, look I don't remember how many I have to detach. Is it just detach 1? Or you can attach 2 to 4, or you have to detach all 4. Okay, so you detach 2 to 4, make different effects. If you detach four, you had any spell or trap from your deck at your hand. Oh, wow. 
So I'm, I have to add double summon. It could be Ancient Enchant as well, but this is fine. Um, you just need a card to give you an extra summon, because the rock cannot be special summoned. Right. Uh, and with the Goblin being banned, you can't use Goblin for an extra summon either. So I need to get to this or Ancient Enchant somehow. Or Advanced Draw even is also fine, I guess. So a question. card that gives you an extra summon. How, how many cards are left in your deck, Jesse? And at this point, I have three, six, nine, ten cards. Ten cards left in your deck. So you're going to tell me that you're, you're, you're going to be able to get the Slifer, Obelisk, and Ra with ten cards left in your deck. Like, I haven't even seen a God card yet. Like, what's going on? It'll get there eventually. Yeah, That's so crazy. I, once I have that, I can start thinning on my deck. But again, these can go back to my hand. Infinite counters. I also add back all the other six Amites as well, like this and this. But I'll get there when I need to. So guys, remember, gateway will be infinite counters, okay? So you guys understand. Because Jesse can just loop it so many times if you guys are confused. Yeah. And now I'm going to special, special, special. And I'm going to turn this into a firewall. All four. Yeah. So firewall cannot special summon itself infinitely now. But what I can do is still add back all your cards. So this is still very important. So I can add these cards back again. With gateway. Yes. Any six handmites are infinitely replenishable. And now I'm going to summon... Mizuho and Mizuho. So this always has to be on the field. Yes. You just has to stay until the end. And then shuffle, shuffle, whatever. Dante. So it doesn't matter what you mill. No, you want to mill your entire deck out. So one, two, three. You'll see zombie cards in here. These are important for later. Like even Halakti, like you, you can mill that. Yes. You want to be adding them back to Firewall. Oh, okay. So you can add back to Mizuho. With Gateway? Yep. Special and special Shine to control Mizuho. Nobody for Dante. Again. Oh, and once Dante goes to grave, it can just put itself back to the deck. Huh? Uh, yeah. We need to have two of them to do that, but yes, you can have three more. So Mizuki, Banshee, Obelisk. Obelisk. And then you can turn all of these into a... I already used the series, right? So I have to put it back in the deck first. So I can turn these into this first. And I add back two Dantes. And now I can add back this, add back this, add back this, off gateway. Let me just reposition myself here. Sorry, it may not be this, it might just be Unicorn. Are you using Unicorn's effect? Here, it's better. No, it already used once per turn. I already used it, so I can't use it again. It has to be here. So special, special, Dante. No, three zombie world, sword of sparkles, and so you have one card left in your deck. Yeah, and then you should have the Dante mill for one as well. I'm pretty sure. So I have to add back the shine eye attached and some of them again. With Dante. So uh, you're adding shine eye back because of gateway. Yeah. Um, and then no one. There's the slifer. Okay. So then now you have zero cards left in your deck. Zero cards in deck. So, from this point, I contribute to put the Sword of Sparkles back in the top of my deck. I need a card in my deck to activate the Gist of Emerald, which I will be doing in a second. The special double Kizan, overlay for Emerald. I need to put this off the field first. Yeah. Yeah, that first. It's two, two warrior monsters? It's two monsters with different names. Okay. Yeah. Emerald, so put back the Unicorn. When you put back the Shurija, that's the important one, and then nothing else really matters. So you want to put something back in the extra deck as well. Put back the Dugaris, I guess. Um, the Dante can add back the one Dante, because you used it afterwards. You can also add back your Cherubini with the other Dante, it doesn't matter. So you put these back and draw a card. And you're going to draw Sword of Sparkles. Which doesn't matter. And then we need to... Mizuki... Bring out the Unizombie. We can discard the Sparkles. Make itself level 4. Add back the Kizan, special to Kizan. Link for... Saryuja. Saryuja. Oh, sorry. I'm missing a very important step. It was the Emerald on field, right? Yeah. Yes. So it was this into Omega. And then that into... So yeah, sorry. The Unizombie and the Kizan, because level 4 from its effect of this card, will uh, make our Omega first. This is important to shuffle back a card. Um, so this can special summon from the hand, which we will do for a god card. And the uh, gateway, yeah. add back my six hand lies again. Yeah, how are you adding a god card back? Oh, so firewall. firewall. So that means you, you get the calling this another two times to add three cards back, right? Yes, which is, that, that's the easy part, right? Because I put back the unicorn and the puzzle amino. 
So these can go here and here, which is pretty much what I'll be doing now. I'll special summon three from my hand with different names. They have to be different names for, for Unicorn. And then special two different two with different levels. And then, you know. Once you do that, like gateway gets counters anyways, right? It's crazy. Yeah, this is infinite. You have infinite monsters. So Firewall can add back three now. So you can add back the raw, the like Oh. You can pick one of the gods that can be special summoned. Uh, so that's that obelisk. Slifer will come out in a different way. This is three. Uh, and then what we do is you notice I have a second Mizuki in the grave I meld off Dante. Yeah. I am going to use Omega's effect to put back Zombie World. That's just, Jesse, this is insane. And then, Zombie World goes back to my deck, and then I also meld, I don't know if you saw, an Echo World Banshee. So I can Banshee, activate the Zombie World. So Jesse, this is ridiculous. Oh, wait a second. Before I really, really mess up, you cannot tribute summon while you control this card. Okay. So you have to double summon <laughs> the the raw first. Otherwise, you literally screw yourself. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, before you activate the Banshee. Okay, so you're activating double summon right now. Yeah. To tribute which one? Uh, just not this. The raw comes out because this one can't be special summon. And then you can so you just special summon the obelisk. Okay. This is your hand. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's make it. So this is more. this is my hand. This is in the grave now. This is in my hand. This is in my deck. So and you use Omega to shuffle back. The log, zombie world. Zombie world. And then I can Banshee to activate the zombie world. So you normal this. Saruja special this. Yes. Done. Yep, and then I can banish. This is insane. Mizuki from the grave. Which is special. All my guys are zombies now. Slifer's a zombie. And Slifer revives, and three god cards on the field. That is crazy. Yeah. Jesse, this is ridiculous. And this is not tribute summon. Special summon. Special summon. Yeah. So you can still do it under this. Good game. Wow. Jesse, how does it feel to accomplish something like this? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I spent a couple hours figuring out the puzzle pieces because it is it took a little bit of time to figure out how to get everything to work together with the right number of extra cards right main deck and nothing illegal um so it feels really it's like a puzzle so when you figure it out it feels pretty good okay awesome jesse we're definitely gonna do more puzzles with you man there's some crazy ftks i want you to solve what's that venom and maga guy oh god venom and maga i have no idea i mean i have to read the card again that card's really bad <laughs> anyway guys there you go halakti the creator of light absolutely insane this was a really fun challenge if you guys want to see more smash that thumbs up button and if you guys want to get this beautiful orca get in the link in the description box below and use my code for 30 percent off man this is crazy absolutely ridiculous jesse again thank you so much for being on the show hope to see you more again and this is your boy sam from team star sam signing off all right guys peace